for the first two, three years that I lived here in Boston, I would play in the subway three, four days a week. I would play hours and hours. Early on, I remember using a battery-powered amp. It didn't last very long. It didn't sound that great, so then I, I bought an amp that did sound great, but it wasn't battery-powered, so I'd have to hook up a car battery or I'd have to, like, steal electricity from the MBTA and worry if I was gonna get run off by the electricity police. <laughs> Bose has deftly solved every problem that I had back then. Uh, you know, the, the S1, it's beautiful, it's the size of a toaster, and you can carry it on a bicycle, you just pull it out of the bag, plug your stuff into it, and loud, clear, and just speaking as someone who lived through all of the early problems, I'm so grateful. The best thing about it for me is the size. It's kind of astonishing. Bless those engineers. That 11-hour battery will do for almost anything that I do. It's kind of a dream for your basic pop-up concert. I like spontaneity. You know, I can just say, hey, everybody, I'm gonna be playing. I'm gonna be playing at 3.30 in the afternoon and just put that out there. I don't have to line anything up. I can just tootle up on my bicycle, pull the stuff out of the bag, throw it down, plug it in, and actually do the thing I said I'd do. When you love what you do, it's not work. You know, I've been doing this a long time and it's actually getting more fun. <laughs>